Alright, so this may be the last video of this series. I have reset the um, viewport here a little bit just so that we can easily walk through this uh, script. Alright, so we went through up to um, up to here. We took out the um, uh, electrical outlet. So from there, um, let's see what's going on. The next one is uh, color correction to um, make the room more early morning-ish like and that image is then with the brightness and contrast um, this is the color correction this is the brightness contrast is then fed into this camera which is a projector and this camera is taking this image as let's take a look at the uh, projection it's taking the image as texture projection not the uh, light and that is fed directly into the 3D scene. So if you just go straight to 3D scene, you see that the camera is projecting basically this texture. Now you, you may not see the difference between this camera, which is the, uh, um, the, the camera that we are actually viewing through, as opposed to this projector, because they are both located at the same place. Now I was able to get away with the projection of the entire image sequence because the camera itself is on a uh, tripod um, so I didn't need to freeze the uh, frame uh, any particular frame and then project that as the uh, picture onto the geometry um, the whole sequence actually ran through the geometry and, and that was fine uh, in the whole 3d scene so anyway so that comes here um, what else gets there let's see now there's a concept of light wrap. Basically, environment should have some effect on him as if he is actually inside the room. There is a very nice uh, technique that um, Kurt Gartner of uh, VFX Haiku has uh, shown on his uh, website. You can go and visit. It's a very nice tutorial. Um, so basically, what he says in that that if you take this Met Control and copy it and create another met control tool but this time it's blurred and when you take this blurred into the original met control and choose the operation as combined alpha and uh, the combined operation type is subtract you basically get this type of alpha where it is translucent at the edges and transparent inside the subject so now any ambience that you have here you can um, integrate more onto the uh, onto the surface all the white areas that you see now this will become clear in, in a second this is the actual um, room as we saw last um, it goes into the camera projection that we saw but then there is another branch that goes into this blur node and this is a very extensive blur uh, there is a color correction here that doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's see. Yeah, I think it was reset. Um, we can increase the brightness a little by changing gamma. Now this is then merged onto the original character. This is the original character that goes into this merge as the background. And this one is actually going as the foreground, the blur. Now I'm going to remove this mask for a minute and just let you see what it would look like. This is how the scene looks now. But as soon as you mask it with the mask that we have created as med control, you know, blurred med control that we just saw, what happens is that the environment is now blurred only onto the edges. Now this is uh, this may be. Uh, not very clear as of yet but let's see uh, you know if I can make it more clear so I'm going to remove this for a minute you see this is how the original blue character looked like and then after projecting the blurred room onto it it has a very soft effect happening on the uh, on the edges now there's something else happening here one branch we saw it's going into this uh, light wrap workflow and then there is another pipe that goes out into and it continues
continues into the filter. What it does is, and of the operation here I have chosen is this uh, sawbill. And if you look at alpha again, you see this edge, right? And this edge is what separates blue from the um, from the ambience. Now, what you can do is you can make alpha clamp um, because this is floating point brightness and contrast would actually clamp it clamp the alpha um, as you see clip white here from 0 to 1 uh, value so anything higher than 1 would be clamped to 1 and then it is blurred so that the integration of the foreground which is himself and the background which is the room would be more believable so what difference does it really make? So now when you blur the entire scene, right, you will see the, the difference between this node here, right, and this node. Look at the edges, right? This is how Blue came through, you know, when he came into the uh, into the scene. Very harsh edge. And then with the blur node, you can see that it, he is more integrated into the scene, you know, compared to the... Uh, uh, just you know stamping him on to the room so it, it just a very minor change but you know it does make a difference all right so that's that and let's see if I have left anything out here we talked about this 3d scene here and how the projection is happening the only other thing is this, this TV was uh, off in the original sequence and what I have done here is just just a video sequence and then it goes into this color correction to make it more dramatic glow so that it would look like it's a TV screen it's applied to a node blend node material and that material is then applied to a um, 3d shape which is just a plane and this plane is then placed into the room at the right location so that it actually is onto the TV Right. And that's how that's taking the uh, information about the TV screen. Right, so um, the only other thing that is left here is bringing blue into the scene. And that is happening right here. This blue that is coming through another camera. Um, that two camera cameras that we have used. Here is the projection one. This is actually the camera that views the scene, but onto that camera is this blue character that is just mapped. You can see that right here. And then when you merge that into the scene, what you have is that blue actually in front of the background. So it gives you more control as to you know how you want to uh, set up the scene. And lastly, I would like to uh, highlight some of the sources that I used in uh, my own learning. Uh, iOnline website has uh, good tutorials to get started on Fusion. Uh, Pixfly forum also is a great place to um, pick on people's brain. A lot of uh, talented and helping people there. Um, Synthize obviously has uh, a website where you can uh, also look at some online tutorials and pretty much all of them are available on YouTube. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and I hope uh, this was helpful. I'll get some other tutorials, some other discussions on the way, focusing on uh, Fusion, um, also some Maya and some uh, Synthize. Okay, happy learning!